Scorpio, welcome to your October Mid Monthlies with me. This is Brooke, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you to my new subscribers tonight, Bertero. I reached my goal of 5,000, so thank you to my new subscribers, and let's go for 6,000, Scorpio, because it's going up, up, up. So thank you for subscribing, and let's get started. I'm doing a three-card reading for your Mid Monthlies, Scorpio. I've already pre-shuffled. So let's jump right in. I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck for this month's mid-month reading. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. The Major Arcana card, the Fool, is the beginning. The beginnings of something represented by the number zero. Very much about taking a risk or embarking upon some new opportunity, some new journey, something that's totally brand new or perhaps you're just jumping with both feet in and taking a risk having faith of some kind mid-month october the cards that have laid out i will say are very much about relationships this is not a love reading sometimes the general readings will come up as love readings but scorpio seems to be very much uh something to do with relationships so coming out of the most recent past, we see the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, he is offering. He's an offer of emotional. He's, a, he's an offer of emotional givings. He's wanting to perhaps give something to Scorpio. This could be for Scorpio yourselves. This energy is very much a younger water sign energy. Very romantic. Very dreamy. One, the Back in the olden days when, when people would court each other and take their time. There's a romanticism surrounding Scorpio mid-month October to the end of the month. This is coming out of the most recent past. For many, this could be a younger person that you have met or you're getting involved with. Uh, this could be very applicable to younger Scorpios who are watching. Knights in terms of age range are anywhere between like 20 to 30. So a younger type of energy. And this could be associated with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I would say for many this has to do with some form of proposal. This could be getting asked out. This could be a romantic getaway. There's some form of romance surrounding Scorpio. With that being said, the present energy we see is the Ten of Cups. Many of those that are watching are happy. There's a joyful experience going on. There also could be a lot of happy times with just not a particular relationship. This also could be with family and friends as well. Ten is a number of completion. The Ten of Cups in particular is very much about the completion or feeling whole in terms of feeling contentment, feeling joy, feeling peace, feeling happiness of some kind. So there could be elements of this energy surrounding Scorpio mid-month October to the end of the month and there's a feeling of togetherness and comfort associated with that as well. In the future potential, we have the Seven of Pentacles. For many of those that are now entering in, into perhaps long-term relationships or entering into relationships, this definitely si signifies to me of it being long-term. This also could be significant for those who are already in a long-term relationship of still progressing forward and staying together long term. The Seven of Pentacles is one where you are taking a pause or taking a look back at how far you've come. And it's also one where there is longevity and taking your time, not rushing it, not expecting uh, so much, too much too soon kind of feeling. This is taking your time. This is walking down the primrose path and taking your time and feeling confident that this is going to last kind of feeling. Now I'm going to pull three more cards and see what 
clarifiers might come up for Scorpio. And there is an interesting dynamic. So what has appeared is the hangman, followed by the tower, followed by the two of cups. There could be feelings of great contentment, feelings of great satisfaction, but at the same time, still a little bit like either not sure or taking a pause, going back to the pause, taking a pause to see, am I ready for the next level in this relationship and kind of being on the fence about it, okay? That's coming up for Scorpio as well. And when the tower appears, there could be a moment of some form of moment where if there seems to be a resistance or if there seems to be a questionable or a question coming from the other person or from yourselves of commitment or commitment or commitment phobia, so to speak, there could be a definite breakdown of this is what I'm wanting. Hi, Kitty. And this is what I'm expecting. And th this is what I want in a relationship where perhaps the other party may not be so, may not be so keen to announce or keen to agree, so to speak. However, with the Two of Cups, it's definitely marking a relationship, a mutual agreement, a mutual attraction in the end. So with the tower, with the feelings of, mm, I don't really know, you know, I love, I love this person, I know they care about me, but am I ready for the next step, you know, and then here comes the tower marching in. And uh, there could be an abruptness to change. There could be abruptness to perhaps the other person not feeling the same way. But all in all, we have the Two of Cups that comes in to say there's a reconciliation or there's a bringing together of something closer or there's a more supportive feeling going back to how we're feeling now where we're together there's a mutual attraction there's a mutual agreement there's synchronicity there's a flow within the relationship so scorpio your reading mid-month october is very much about relationships i'm going to put that in the byline of your title it's very much centered around romance and relationships for you so good luck to you scorpio keep me posted Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading was helpful. Have a great mid-month, and I'll be back. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.